Shorts have been around for a while with YouTube, and there's been a lot of videos put out about the pros and the cons. But when I go to look at those pros and cons, I'm looking at channels that have millions of views. I wanted to share pros and cons using Shorts on a growing channel. My channel has over 3,000 subscribers, and I'm not getting a million views. So let me go over the pros and cons of a smaller channel or a growing channel and see if you decide if you think it's worth doing. The first positive effect of having shorts on your YouTube channel is increased visibility. I have to say that since I started adding shorts to my channel, which has been about a year ago, my visibility has increased. I was trying to post two long videos every week and it just got to the point where it was getting to be hard to do that because I do have a job that I still have to work at and it wasn't as enjoyable. So for me, I added a short once a week and the long video once a week and it really has made making videos very, very enjoyable. My visibility has gone up because shorts tend to get more views on an average. Now, Views do not mean the same thing as watch time. Watch time is what makes you money. Um, how long people are watching and are they seeing the ads? A view is simply, it could be just 30 seconds or you know that short is only 60 seconds. But if you're making your YouTube channel because you love what you're doing and you're not doing it for the money, then I highly recommend ad shorts. Now, some people have a dream that they wanna go viral, which, Everybody would love that, even if you're not doing it for the money. But having a short video on your on your YouTube channel or having shorts will increase your chances of going viral. We live in a really uh, in a society where everything where people want things quickly and they want that instant gratification. I find myself doing it. You're just swiping through your phone and you see these short videos real quick. You just go through them. So not everybody has the time to sit and watch videos that are five, six, seven, 20 minutes long. So the shorts do increase your chances of going viral. Now the third pro, I'm gonna say this one can go either way, but it increases your chances of engagement and interaction. I have found on my channel, when I added the shorts, my interaction is about the same on both. What increases my personal interaction is when I post something that might be a little bit controversial, um, just a little. <laughs> I don't try to go too much, but just because it's short or just because it's long does, in my opinion, on my channel has no bearing. It has to do more with the content on whether I get more interaction. The fourth positive effect that I'd like to share is it's quick. You can very quickly put together a short. And I find myself, I have a channel, it's called My Amish Neighbors, and what I have found that a lot of times I'll just be out and I'll take some quick video um, with the, the phone going vertical instead of horizontal. And I'll think, okay, this will make a good short video. One day I saw, I was driving down the country roads as an example, and there were little um, guineas walking across the road. And I had to literally stop my car. I'm in the middle of nowhere. And these guineas start walking across the road. So of course I jump out of the car and I'm filming. Um, the fun part, which I couldn't film, was the owner of the house right across the street who owned the guineas was like, what are you doing? this guy comes driving up on his tractor like what are you doing and then after we got to talking he goes oh my wife has all kinds of birds you can come in and see him anytime so not only did I get a good short video but I had the opportunity to meet a new friend before I share some of the negative effects I want to share my analytics on my um, channel I have noticed in the past year my Weekly views when I first, before I did shorts, was running two to 400, and now it's running six to 800. So it did double, but it's not only on the shorts when I post them. I'm noticing that people are coming in, they'll see that I have an Amish channel, they'll watch the shorts or they'll watch my new video, and from my analytics, I'm noticing they're going back and watching the certain five or 10 videos that I get a lot of views on. Um, so they're going in and digging in, and I know that because of some of the comments that they make. They say, oh, I really like such and such, and, and this has encouraged me to dig in deeper and learn about the Amish. So I've got a lot of historical or educational videos in there, um, so they are going into those. So I'm noticing that it is increasing my 
volume, but my, it is increasing my views, but not only on those current videos, if that makes sense. These are my analytics for a year. And when you go under content, you can now hit the all button. And this is my views for a year. These are my impressions. And of course my impression click through rate notice from February to August, I had a couple videos that did really, really well. And then it kind of, um, fell off again. And that's part of growing. That's part of growing on a new channel. You're, you just, you think you're going to hit that viral one that's going to go crazy and then it stops. Um, but one day, right? And then I have my shorts. So here's shorts. Now notice my shorts, I could go in and show you, but I've had a couple that have hit, you know, thousands um, of, of views and then it'll taper off and then another one comes along. So again, I just think it really depends on the content and the interest of the people. And that's where you go back and say, okay, well, what, what were the videos, the shorts that people liked? Maybe I can give them more of that. The same thing with the long ones. But here is the video um, analytics, and then this is all for the entire year. Um, you can see here um, videos for me, I get more watches or views, um, a longevity of views on my long videos and less on the shorts overall. So that's a good thing because I do want people to come in and look at my content that I've spent more time on. So for me, I think that's a positive. My shorts take up about 24% of my views. And I like this one here where it says viewers across formats. You can kind of get an idea. 76 of the people come just for the videos 10% only the shorts. And then I've got a nice 14% right here in the center that like both. And I've had people ask me like, or, or even give me comments and said, I really like the long videos better. So I just gave them my schedule. I said, every Friday, you'll see my long video on Tuesdays, you'll see my shorts. So if they don't like the shorts, then they don't have to come. So what are some negative effects? One negative effect, effect is viewer expectation. Viewers may be coming to your channel and they see your long videos and they may expect your shorts to be at the same high quality. And that's not unreasonable. Um, you can still have good quality even though it's short, it's just so much easier to put together because it's only 60 seconds at the most. So that could backfire on you if you're not putting in a little bit of effort on that short. My shorts, I like to put music to them and that's fun for me. And on the longer videos, I like to talk. You could notice a subscriber dropout rate if you start doing shorts. I personally have not. In the last year, I've only lost five subscribers. I don't know if they left because of the shorts or because of a video, or maybe they're just not interested anymore. So for me, it actually has had steady growth and it's been very well balanced, but that could happen to you. If you're really good with shorts and you get like a million views, I would expect some of those people that came and they really liked that video that went viral, if you don't do viral quality all the time, then they may drop away. Maybe they just like that one. But again, it's not enough of a negative, in my opinion, not to do it. Quality versus quantity is kind of what I was just saying. People tend to put less quality into their shorts. And some people I've seen when I've read other videos about shorts, they say, put them out, you know, every day. I don't think, I think too much of anything is not good. I remember when I first started this channel, every single day I posted something and I didn't even know what my niche was except how to. I was learning and I kept making how to videos and it was fine. I got views and stuff. But the point is posting every single day did not make it any better because when I dropped down to two times a week and it, it kind of, I had the same amount of views. So um, quantity is not as important as quality. So just remember that whether you're doing a short or whether you're long one, make it your best. And I want to just point out too, that if you have that week that you have to miss a video, it's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. I know sometimes we feel that pressure that we have to stay on schedule. I do it too. And I've had to tell myself a couple times, you're just not going to, it's just not there this week. Just make one next week and it's okay. And the last negative is monetize, monetization you're not going to make a lot of money with your shorts unless you do go viral. I've got a couple videos that had like, you know, 12,000 views and I might've made nine cents. So don't make sure it's expecting to make a lot of money. Um, but it can give your channel some attention. So overall, my opinion is yes, I think a small growing channel should include shorts, try it out and just do one a week and make sure it fits in with the niche of your channel. You don't want to do something off the wall that has nothing to do with it. Um, enjoy. Let me know what you think. Have you started making shorts? Is this something you've been thinking about or anybody else? Have you started doing it and have you had different 
effects on your channel.